Hello and welcome to Cisco ASA Training 101. My name is Don Crawley. I'm from SoundTraining.net. We're the Seattle, Washington-based publisher of learning resources and provider of accelerated training for IT professionals. This time we're doing installing the ASDM launcher. It's based on my book, The Accidental Administrator, Cisco ASA Security Appliance. Book is not required, but if you'd like to get a copy, it's available from Amazon and other resellers or on our website at www.soundtraining.net slash bookstore. Software version we're using is ASA version 9.0 and ASDM version 7.0, but the procedures that I'm going to show you haven't changed much in many years, so even if you're using older versions of the software, it should still work for you. Here are the prerequisites. Pretty simple. For this lesson, all you'll need is unrestricted privilege mode access to a Cisco ASA security appliance. Equipment software requirements, one Cisco ASA security appliance. I used an ASA model 5505, but what I'm going to show you should work on any of the ASA models. It will need to be configured as a DHCP server, or you'll have to assign a static IP address to your management workstation and a computer for your management workstation. Here's the network diagram. As you can see, it is also pretty simple. Um, there's an Ethernet cable and a serial console cable going from the management workstation to the ASA, and the ASA is configured with an inside address of 192.168.102.1 with a 24-bit mask. You can do it with a different address and mask if you want. You'll just need to modify some of the settings that we talk about in order to match whatever your configuration is. Here's the disclaimer. This video is provided solely as a courtesy to you, our viewer. There are no guarantees whatsoever. Please do not attempt these procedures on a production firewall without first testing them for security and suitability in a lab environment. And performing these procedures may open your firewall to the public internet and subject your network to attack. So make sure you have current backups and take precautions including data encryption and additional access controls to protect sensitive data. We're going to use the Internet Explorer browser, but you can use Chrome or Firefox. I've had success with those. Cisco recommends Internet Explorer, and frankly, I've had better luck with it. So, But again, that's up to you, whatever you want to use. We'll type in the IP address of the security appliance. One thing that often trips up students is that you have to connect using HTTPS, so just make sure you do that. And our firewall is at 192.168.101.1. So we'll go ahead and hit that. And you'll see something like this. You may need to do a Java install, and if so, then go ahead and, and click through that. But then we're going to install the ASDM launcher. So let's click on this link. And it's going to whir for a moment. And it should come up. But if you see this, there's one likely cause, and that is that either the... Uh, HTTP server hasn't been enabled, or you haven't specified the correct IP address range to have access. So let's go in and fix that. So we're connected via serial console cable to the Cisco ASA security appliance, and let's first of all just see if maybe the HTTP server is configured with the command show run HTTP. And since it returns nothing, that tells us right away that that's where the problem is. So first thing we need to do is enable the HTTP server. So we'll go into global configuration mode with the command configure terminal, abbreviated to conf t, as you can see. And we're going to do HTTP server enable. And we also need to specify the address range of the management workstation, or at least the network that it's on. So we'll do HTTP, and then we're going to do 192.168. 101.0. We're putting in the subnet address, not the individual node address, and you can narrow it down if you want to. With a mask of 255.255.255.0. And we're going to say that it's connected to the inside interface. And now that's enabled, and let's go back to the browser, and it should work. So now we're back to the browser, and let's go ahead and, and re enter the IP address of the security appliance, so HTTPS. Colon whack quack 192.168.101.1. And we'll go ahead and allow the Java runtime environment to run. So we'll click on allow. And now let's install the ASDM launcher. And we want to run it. Does a security scan. And since this is Windows 8, it's saying, hey, wait a minute, I don't know this. You sure you want to do it? And we're going to say run anyway. Obviously, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing and that 
that you're not inadvertently clicking on something that might be bad. But in this case, I'm pretty sure that what I'm doing is going to be okay. We'll click on Next and just click through the prompts, Install. And we're done. Click on Finish. And now we can click on the ASDM Launcher. And I don't have a password configured on this, so we'll go ahead and click OK, since it's just in my lab. Real world, obviously, you'd want to do that. Loads the cache software, and in a moment we'll see the ASDM launch. And the benefit of this is that you don't have to connect through a browser in the future. You can just use the launcher either off your start menu or if you're using Windows 8, your start screen, and connect to any Cisco ASA security appliance. And there it is. If you'd like more information, you can visit our website at www.soundtraining.net. I blog at soundtraining.net slash blog. You can follow us on Google, Facebook, and Twitter. If you'd like more videos, they're available at our video channel at www.soundtraining.net slash videos. And the companion book is available through our bookstore at www.soundtraining.net slash bookstore. Well, I hope it's been helpful for you. For soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawley. We'll see you next time.